Take a breath. Half of the oxygen on Earth comes from the trees, the other half from the ocean. It is necessary to the survival of all life on our planet. But today, the ocean is losing oxygen, and we should be worried. Deoxygenation is a, is a complicated word, I guess, for something which is relatively straightforward in one sense. And that's the fact that the ocean, like the atmosphere, contains oxygen and it's the reduction in the amount of oxygen available in the ocean. In both coastal areas and the open ocean, the disappearance of oxygen leads to dead zones where life can't survive. This phenomenon is the consequence of various human activities and also climate change. Nutrient inputs from human activities Things like nitrogen and phosphorus coming from fertilizers, from farmland, coming from sewage, fossil fuel combustion in power plants and automobiles. Fertilize the water and grow phytoplankton. And as we get all this additional biomass, all these plants and animals growing and they die, microbes then decompose them and use up oxygen in the process. There are physical conditions that are also important. Climate change is increasing the temperature of the water, the water column becomes stratified, and that keeps oxygen from the atmosphere from mixing into the water and replenishing oxygen as it's used up. Animals that can't move out of the way of low oxygen die or can become more sensitive to disease. They don't grow as well, they don't reproduce. Things like fish and, and mobile crustaceans like crabs try to escape from low oxygen areas, but when they do, they may become more susceptible to overfishing because fishers know how to target areas that the animals are using as a refuge from low oxygen. Ocean deoxygenation actually has solutions, and in some cases these are the exact same solutions that we have for global warming. The most important would be to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions. Another important thing we can do is reduce our nutrient inputs to the ocean from land. We know that we can improve farming practices. We have the technology to improve sewage treatment and prevent nutrients and raw sewage from entering water bodies and we have the technology to reduce nitrogen coming in from the atmosphere. Deoxygenation, I think, was really totally overlooked uh, the past 10 years. Uh, a lot of other stresses were highlighted. And so we have to really act on at all levels. The Global Ocean Oxygen Network IOC Expert Working Group consists of 22 experts from all around the world. Those are really the best scientists working on deoxygenation right now. They are addressing different issues, for example, data access, improving models, but also raising awareness. I think the next decade will be the decade of ocean deoxygenation. I think this is a looming problem that is quite severe and a problem that almost nobody knows about. We're no longer the casual observer in the room looking at the experiment. We've unwittingly put ourselves in the middle of this experiment, which is now rolling out. In the recent report, we're really trying to give people a bit of a sense of how serious is this problem. As humans, we can address this issue. There's much we can do. It's happening on our watch, and we need to be prepared to find the solutions. <laughs>